how you doing guys this is joss from kingdom dtf to all my subscribers welcome back to the channel if you are not subscribed go ahead subscribe to the channel hit that like button up there and turn your notification on because here we got knowledge about dtf printing and also tricks and tips so as you can see guys we got here our le 200 Okay, uh, it's an echo tank. And I'm going to show you guys how you're going to uh, install your, well, not installed today, but um, this damper, you replace dampers. I'm going to show you how you're going to use the extra tubing with a connector that you need for this type of damper, okay? This type of damper is the one that you can get from our web website or any other store if you like um, and most people what they use this damper is to replace the two that are for the white ink and the reason is because this damper it got a bigger uh filter now this is uh one a smaller uh damper there's another one bigger that got a bigger chamber over here but with this one you're going to be fine when you replace your damper for the white okay so i'm going to show you how you're going to prepare your piece of tubing with the connector how you're going to insert that over here and then you got you're going to have your final product okay guys so we are here in our other uh, office so this is the part that you go to get is a little bit it's a little tube with your connection over here and uh, this is the part for this damper over here for the le 200 so what you want to do is connect this part here so you can then the line from the le 200 connected here so this is the way that you use this type of dampers and uh, most people change it or you know swap the, the original dampers for these ones because if you can see got a bigger filter that is good for the white ink okay so the way you connect this is really easy so you're going to need a tweezers and a scissor, okay? So you're going to cut your, um, your tube just a little bit. You can see like sideways. So instead of being straight, you're going to cut it. You're going to cut it this way, cut that, because then it's going to be easy for you to insert the o-ring over here this part over here okay so we go to grab the screw over here put it first there's no problem with that one you can see then grab this just give it a moment i'm going to insert it all the way in I lose it. I try again because I don't see well, but all right. Once you got it inside, so it's got to be easier for you. So this is this is what you're going to get. Okay. So then you can put it all the way back, and then you got this part over here with your uh, screw and our ring like this okay so now we're going to make the connection to this over here and it's really easy um the thing is that this tube is as you can see flexible so it's soft there's another piece of tube that you can get that is more firm that is going to be similar 
to the line that it used the waste tank. But um, I think this one should be working fine since if you need to, you know, move it or something like that or accommodate the damper anyway, uh, it's got to be more flexible for you. So let me put it here on all of this need to go inside. And then what you want to do is just twist a little bit. And you're going to see that it's, you know, over there, like it's going in, but you need to play around with that. Okay. So once you get that, what you want to do is try to twist and then have this. Uh, position so you want this uh, connector over here facing this way so if you are in front of your printer basically you put this side you're going to insert the damper this way so then your connector is going to be this way and the ink uh, the line for the ink is going to be right here so you only need to connect it here if that makes sense for you guys so that's why this need to be this way instead of the other one. So once you got that, what you're going to do is just bring the O-ring all the way down carefully that you don't want to make the line pop up again. And if that happens, okay. I mean, you can put it again. So it's got to be a little bit tight. So just play around with that until you get it all the way. Okay. Once you get it there, you got to see that it's got to be resting right there. You don't need to screw this part. You don't need to screw it over here. Okay. It's got to be resting there. The tube is got to be really tight. Then you come with a screw over here and just start screwing a little bit and just continue making sure that the connector is right, the, the right way. Okay, and there we go. And this is the finished product. So you already took it all the way in and this is your damper with your connection it's got to be really nice really tight over here it cannot go loose unless you pull really hard but it's got to be there and it's got to be this way okay then you go to your l1800 uh, remove the old cartridge or the old, old damper for the white ink or any color that you want to use this cartridge just insert it over there okay and then your ink line you're going to connect it here and from there it's going to flow all the way here and come to this chamber over here and you can use that for your ink so as you can see it's really easy really simple um this type of dampers the l1800 can use it as you can see it's a square here so it don't have any type of clip but once you uh, push it down it's going to hold because this part over here is a square so for any reason if you get the same but don't have a square it may not hold uh the correct way and it can be loose a little bit so you don't want that you want a firm uh damper over there so you don't have uh, problems uh, also, I know there's another printers that use these type of dampers. So if you got those type of uh, printer and you need this connection over here, again, like I mentioned, you can get it from our website or just uh, go ahead and research and you can find it really easy. You know, this type of tube with a connector. Okay. So I hope guys that these, uh, you know, um, short video uh, about how to connect uh, this extra line 
piece of line to the damper that you're replacing? Uh, is have been helpful. If, if it is, just go ahead, please hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow us for everything that is in, have to be with the DTF printing and also, you know, making shirts. Uh, we always have knowledge and, and tips and all of that. Subscribe one more time to the YouTube. If you want to go to Facebook, we got a group called USA Direct to Film Printing. And over there, we got more than 3,000 members. Just like here in YouTube, it's a big community and we help each other, okay? Right, guys? So this is Joss from Kingdom DTF. Thank you so much. And until the next one, just keep printing. <laughs>